The God presence is always knocking at the door of your heart. It's always seeking to express itself at higher levels through you. You're a channel of the divine, and therefore you must listen to the murmurings and whisperings of your heartstrings, because God is forever saying to you, come on up higher, I have need of you at higher levels. Therefore your desire is the gift of God. The realization of your desire is your savior. If you were lost in the woods, divine guidance or the light of God would illumine your pathway and reveal to you the way out. If you're hungry, food is your savior. If you're dying of thirst in the desert, water is your savior. If you're in prison, freedom is your savior. If you're sick, health is your savior. So the answer is always within you. And the saving consciousness is within you because God invoked you. Quiet the wheels of your mind. Call upon this infinite intelligence which responds to you. If you ask for a fish, it will not give you a serpent. If you ask for bread, it will not give you a stone, meaning it becomes the embodiment of your ideal. Have a deep conviction that all is well in spite of all the reasons why the condition seems to be impossible. Remain unmoved. Live in the atmosphere of victory and victory will be yours. Having seen the end, you have willed the means to the realization of the end. Contemplate the happy ending. Realize and know that all the power of the Godhead will flow to that focal point of attention. The law is always perfect because if you are conscious of being one thing, and then should you express something other than what you claim and feel and believe to be true, that would be a violation of the law. It wouldn't be good. Isn't it natural for an apple seed to become an apple tree? Seeds grow after their kind. Therefore, if you feel one thing in your heart, and you express something else on the screen of space, that would be a violation of the law of being. If a man is full of hatred, resentment, hostility, and ill will, and so forth, he certainly can't express love, peace, beauty, joy, or anything else in his life. These negative emotions get snarled up in the subconscious, and being negative must have a negative outlet. The law is not being broken. The law, we said, is always perfect. It brings forth the likeness of man's conception of himself. Stop condemning yourself. Realize that you can now claim what you want to be. You can claim that you now possess what you long to possess. You can now claim that you're doing what you long to do. You can live in that mental atmosphere which will gradually sink down by osmosis from your conscious to your subconscious, gradually become a conviction as you nourish it and sustain it. You must die to the belief in poverty and resurrect the belief in God's opulence. Die to the belief in sickness and believe it's God's will for you that you be happy, joyous and free, vital and strong. Then your limitation will disintegrate. And you will rise like the phoenix from the ashes of the old. You'll become the new man. Because I must die to what I am before I can live to what I long to be.